Hello YouTube and welcome to a game that we are going to be playing uh, for today on the channel called Grab the Bottle. Now, I know that I mentioned uh, earlier this week on Tuesday that I'm going to start doing five uploads a week and um, that I'm going to be playing through a Portal 2 Workshop fan sent in game pack. That's not set right. Um, and that I wanted to do that consistently, but then I uh, remembered that uh, the developers of this game, Kamina Dimension, actually emailed me a couple times about playing through their uh, playing their game on my channel, uh, like about a month ago, and I felt really, really bad about putting it off for so long because the week that they messaged or they emailed me, I gave myself food poisoning, and then the week after that, when I was gonna put it up, I had a family emergency that still makes me have shivers to this day, and then this last week I had a financial emergency. So we had a bunch of things just getting in the way of me actually playing through the game and making a video of it, and I wanted to make it right by making it this week and not putting it off anymore until the end of Bat Catcher because I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for me to do that. This is Grab the Bottle, and from the reviews on Steam, it looks pretty dang good. It looks interesting. It looks kind of weird. To my knowledge, it's kind of a snake-like game, you know, when you play it on your your little flip, flow, your flip phone on the bus ride to school. Um, you, it, it looks like a snake kind of game, and I gotta be honest, snake stresses me out. <laughs> that sounds really stupid, but um... Snake stresses me out because there's just so many ways to lose, and <laughs> I'm bad at it, so we're gonna try and get through this, but this game came out on Steam May 22nd of this year, so it's pretty gosh dang new, and you can get it on Steam for about $6, $7, it's $6.99, 7 US dollars on Steam. I will leave all the links down below to where you can find it and the website for this game. And, I need to mention, as I always do, I did not buy this game, I was given a key by the developers, Kamina uh, Dimensions, and I did not purchase it, I did not pay for it, that will not change my review, if I don't like the game, it will come out as honestly as I possibly can, that's just how I do my review style, that's how my let's play style is, so expect to see an honest review at the end of this, but uh, anyways, we're gonna get started, so I figure we played through a couple levels of this game. And, um, we'll try it with the keyboard first. Okay, left is left arrow, right arrow, grab and pull is up arrow, speed up is down, reset is return, pause is escape. Okay. Oh, uh, can I use my mouse? Okay, single play- well, I changed my mind, no. Single player, please. Okay. Get this mouse off the screen. Okay, a baby. He wants his bottle. And we're gonna grab it. Alright, tutorial. Your goal is to get to the bottle and grab it. Start the game by pressing grab and maneuver the bottle. To avoid hitting anything on the way, you have two hit points. Ready? Grab it. Oh, fuck! Ah! Ah! So I suck. Wait! Wait! Ah, oh, God! <laughs> Alright, good, we got it, okay. No, I thought down was slow down! How do you slow down? I got it. Oh my God, this baby's arm. This is weird. Rip, I died once. <laughs> Shut up, baby. Okay, so this is what the game is like. We're, we're a baby grabbing bottles. You need to collect all the collectibles before grabbing the bottle. Up right corner tells you how many are left. Okay. Go. Yeah, buddy. Pew. Speed this bitch up. Okay. Ah! Alright, pretty straightforward. So, huh? It's like a, um... A free movement snake. Like, you can move in any direction you want. It's not bound to, like, right angles and stuff like that. And I like that because it makes me feel a little bit better. While the, uh, turning radius isn't that great, though. Okay, big round objects with a blue outline can be pushed forward by ramming your hand into them. Okay. Okay, so it's not gonna hurt me. Alright. Hup. Alright. I'm assuming I can't hit my own arm as well. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what? Ah! Get behind this bitch and then push it. Yeah, there you go. Got him! Bam! 
Why doesn't this baby just cry like normal? Why does it have to elongate its arm? Baby is reading, thinking about Bottle with a very interesting face. Often you need to grab and pull objects with blue glow to solve puzzles. Press and hold grab to start pulling back. Drop the item by letting go of the button. Oh. Obstacles with red outlines need to be dealt with. How to do this depends on the obstacle. Find the right way. So it wants me to drop a block on top of it. Okay, so this is where the grab mechanic comes in. All right, let's try this. Let's test, actually. Can I go through my own arm? No, I can't. Uh, did I effectively fuck myself just now? Ah, great! There appears to be like a couch right there. Okay. Go grab, please! Oh, I can pull my arm back! Oh, and drop? Oh! Oh shit, I need to get collectibles, I forgot. So can I like- Oh shit. Oh shoot! I can only pull back if I'm grabbing something. Alright, I can do this. I can maneuver. Here we go, here we go. Ease it in. Ease the baby hand into the tight- Mmm. Never mind. Sharp! Yeah! I'm a master of disaster, are you kidding me? Alright. Okay, interesting, interesting. It's got a lot more depth than I thought it was. I thought it was just gonna be an arm endlessly grabbing a bottle. You can press speed up to go faster. This works also while pulling items. Be careful, turning is more difficult while speeding up. Okay. All right, what do we got? We have a red obstacle that needs to be dealt with, two collectibles, and a bottle. Okay. So let's grab this guy. Oh no! Oh no, that didn't work! Okay, wait. There we go. Grab this. Ah! Nope. Grab. Yes! Alright, I didn't- I didn't actually plan for that to happen, so I'm happy. What are you doing? No, stop! Okay, well, let's- let's drop it where it's out of the way. Alright. Okay, now we're gonna go around. Get this one. Speeding up! Yeah! Alright! This baby arm is really freaking me out now that I know it's a baby arm, actually. <laughs> Alright, press grab to ca I can do that. I mean, I got it. I haven't- I haven't lost to the point where I want to stop playing so far. Some objects break down when dropped. Be careful about when and where to drop them. Hmm. Okay. Ah! Huh. Owie! I- I fucked that right up. Alright. Let's do it a different way. Let's go straight first, that might be easier. Okay. Easy does it. Grab that. Oh no! I have to, I have to, oh wait, can I grab the ball? It's too big! Fuck, okay. So what I have to do is I have to, Oh, 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 careful now. I have to go, like, all the way around over here. Yeah, because I need to... I need to be able to drop it on top of this. So now I, I'm over here. So now I'm gonna go grab the glass. Then we're gonna rewind... a little bit until we're over this. Drop that bitch! <gasps> I went the wrong way. Okay, hit the ball, get the bottle! Oh, I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good. Pretty goddamn good at grabbing bottles, I guess, as a baby with a magic hand. Okay, baby is once again withdrawn from the bottle. He's starting to experience the shakes. We better get him his bottle. He's got some kind of addiction. Sometimes you need to pull levers, door handles, clamps, or other such things. You can tell these items from their blue outlines. If the level is too big to fit on screen, you can look around before starting by pressing to the direction you want to see. Remember that you can always pull your arm back by grabbing objects. Oh, what the fuck? So... Alright, so I can move that ball, grab that piece of paper if I need to. But if I take off that clamp, it looks like that toolbox will probably slide and hit that red thing, so I want that to happen. Alright, my first destination is clamp. 
Oh, I have a red sleeve now. Does that mean I'm awesome at this game? Okay, here we go. Not worrying about the stuff yet. I want to... Ah! All right. I didn't mean to do that. I died. All right. Grab this. Go down. Grab this. Oh, loop around. Very tightly, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can't get that one. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Fuck. Okay. And then we grab the lamp. Oh, fucking, all right. Oh, what? Y'all know how I feel about shenanigans, right? What the fuck? What the, why does it set me back? Okay, all right. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine, bullshit game, it's fine, it's fine. So it counts as a hit when they collapse on me. That would have been cool to know prior. Shit. Oh no. Oh no, I backed myself into a baby corner. Oh no! Now I'm just endlessly wet. We're leaving. Goodbye. Time to go. Ah! Okay. Alright, did I mention that I actually really enjoy this comic book style? It's pretty. It is pretty. I do enjoy it. I hit the plant. Great. But, uh, like the, the dots in the background and stuff, like how they, uh, are in comics. Okay, alright, here we go. Oh, oh uh, no, why did it do that? Damn it! Kill yourself, baby hand! Looks like you could lose some help. No help! Fuck off, I can do this. Giving me hints and perks after I suck for too long? No. Okay, I need to grab that binky before we do this. <laughs> fuck me? That's it? That's just it. Just fuck me. I'm dead. What? It didn't swonk me this time. I feel like I'm losing my mind. This isn't supposed to be a rage game. It's not supposed to be a rage game. I'm getting so mad. I'm so mad right now. All right. Are you? Are you? Alright. I suck at games and I should feel bad. Oh, I see. I need to go up here. I need to not pull these clamps. And I need to go around town. Grab this binky. And then I need to grab this. Yes, bitch! Oh, excellent. Okay. So now we're gonna grab this. Gonna go and get this. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, we're going this way. We're gonna grab this paper. Oh, God. I'm so stressed. Okay. Left, please. Yeah! I've done it! And done. How many deaths? Was it like 16? 75? 11. 11 deaths. God, okay. So, what do we got? Okay, the level's not big enough to be off the screen, so we have a Mr. Potato Head that I'm probably gonna have to drop on top of that sand castle. The binky underneath the stroller and then the bottle. Okay, got it. Alright, here we go. Huh, huh, huh. Mr. Potato Head. Just drop. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh god. Hard left. Okay. Alright, I need to make my arc bigger. I didn't, I didn't think of that. Okay, up. There we go. That's how we do it in the bone zone. Don't let me say that again. Okay. So now we get this. Oh, careful. And then we go down here and we get this. And then... Um... Then we make a big K-turn. And then we carefully... Oh, so gently. How do I do this? Okay. So I'm gonna wanna go like this, probably. Like this. Grab the binky. That's not enough room. I'm not gonna be able to make it. Shit. I'm not gonna be able to make that, huh? Okay, wait, maybe if I take it real slow. Oh, get nice and even. Okay, no, we have two lives. Oh, ah. no, this is bad. I can't get in there. Ah. And 
I don't think I got the binky. I didn't get the binky. Okay. Mm. What do you want from me, baby? Oh, wait. Okay, wait. Wait. I'm stupid. What if I go get this guy first? Yeah, there's no set pattern or set order in which I have to grab these bitches, so... Fucked it up. I know. Leave me alone. I've got it, alright? Okay, and then what I want to do, I think, is... Kind of like a... Like this. But then like this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Lauren. What did you do? Kill me. Yeah, something like that. Something like that would be- Oh no, I just fucked myself. Oh no, 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 no. I just screwed myself. Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't. No, I can fit! Just give me a chance! Oh, I hate life and everything in general. This is the bane of my existence. Alright, alright, I got it, I got it this time. I figured it out, I've cracked the code. So then I can carry this bitch all the way back, like intended. But I'm a fucking goober, so I wasn't smart enough to figure that out. And done. Oh, That was painful, I'm stupid, okay. Figured that out nice and good. All right, so we got Hmm, we have Binky over there that I can grab without doing anything. I need to break the sandcastle. Get the apple. Okay. All right, I think I know what to do. What I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna loop around like this. And then I'm gonna grab this apple. Shit! Fucked it up. Unless the ball can break the sandcastle. No, it can't. Oh my god, but it can roll forever. How far will it go? Cool. Okay, I wanna do this in a way that will allow me to break open the sandcastle with the apple. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to make some tight turns here. Go over the sand castle. Loop my way back around to the apple. Grab this bitch. Go backwards. Miss the sand castle! Oh, that was bad. Ah, oh, I'm a disgrace. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, get the apple. Okay, get the apple. Go up here. Drop the apple, break the sand castle, but I need to loop around to the ball. Get this pacif- get this pacify- fire! Oh, shit. Oh, shitty. Shitty tits! That's stupid. That's real. that's a shitty way to do this. Okay. I got this. Oh, come on. I was close. Okay. Okay, I can clear this level. I think we'll, we'll probably clear this one and then call it good, because this seems to be the entire game. And I'm, I'm not- I'm not gonna pretend like my intention was to finish this game and beat all the levels, because there's no way in hell that's happening. Enter the scary door! Don't, don't, don't. Okay. No! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I can't get that pacifier! What do I... What am I to do in a situation such as this? What if I put it the other way? Can I push it the other way? Do you guys think? Oh, I can. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Ah! No, I just figured it out. I got it, okay? I need to push the ball the other way. Okay, let's make it- Oh, the tree! I hate it! That's so stupid. Push it. Push it real good. I missed the binky! Get it! I hit the wrong button. Because- because... Ah, uh, because I suck. <laughs> I suck. I suck! You heard it here first. 
Oh no, I can't make it through. This is stupid. This is dumb. This is such garbage. Ah, not how this close, okay. God, I've been playing this for 35 fucking minutes. This was not my intention. I'm getting upstaged by a game about fucking binkies and creepy baby faces. Okay, turn. Okay, all right, my plan. My master plan, here we go. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close as well. Okay, go up. Go. Go. It was going. Mm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't play anymore. Uh, I'm just getting. I'm just getting upset. Oh look! I put on the cheat, and now I have a boxing glove for a hand. Yeah! Get out of the way, everything. Oh. Really? I would have thought, like, instructability actually made it so I was... Alright. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> this turned into a rage game really fast for me. I don't know why I'm so mad. But it, it it's just like... It, it's like I am bred in Octodad. It's something that seems so simple, but I can't do it right. And it just makes me... Hmm, okay. So, that is the end of this episode. That's the end of our time in this game. Um, it, uh, it's good. It's actually pretty interesting. I, I went into this thinking it would be kind of boring, kind of repetitive, uh, because that's what Snake is. But, it's shaded Snake, holy shit. But it, it, it did surprise me because this game has other, um, what do you call, obstacles in it. So, here we go, let's do this review. Uh, Graphics-wise, I think it's charming. I really do. I really like this comic book style. Um, I don't even know what you call it anymore. Uh, gray, gray scale, gray dot, I don't know what you call it, but the dots in the background, um, and the light and dark gradient colors, that's like my jam. So it does look very nice to me, it's very pleasing to the eye. The, dis the extending arm is a bit creepy to look at, a bit hard to look at, but it's still, uh, pretty dang good, uh, regardless. And the little, what do you call, story pieces, the plot in between some levels, that was interesting. Um, I didn't get much other than Baby Wants His Bottle, and the baby has a really creepy, like, almost rage facey kind of drawing style to him. He looks really weird, but... <laughs> I thought, I thought it was funny. It's overall, I think it's supposed to be funny. So it, it, it was good for me. Sound, I fucking hate babies crying. So that, that was a big like, ugh, to me, but it's part of the game. And that's not, in my personal bias isn't a reason to make it sound like it's bad. The sounds were all pretty pleasing. The, uh, everything you interacted with had a good sound to it. And the background music is actually not annoying and repetitive like I thought it would be. I thought I'd want to cut my ears off, but I'm pleasantly surprised to find that it's actually kind of nice to listen to. It's a catchy little tune, and it, it's it's pleasing. So that was good for me. I didn't have a problem with it. The controls, getting precision and precision turning on keyboard and mouse is hard, especially when you're using arrow keys. So that's probably where I struggled the most, but that doesn't mean the controls are bad. It was still smooth, it was still fluid, and things were still easy to memorize. It's all just controlled one hand, so it's not a problem. Yeah, it wasn't- it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. I- I'm just- I don't know my lefts and rights, so I got it mixed up all the time. Story, there really isn't one. The baby wants his bottle. That- that's pretty much it, so... That's it. <laughs> probably wouldn't play it again. I don't know. It, it- It's probably just not for everybody. It seems like something that would get repetitive really fast, and it kind of did. I didn't play it for too long. I didn't get through too many levels, so I don't know if, like, it really ramps up later on in the game. And um, I'm basing my review based on where I am right now. So please don't come at me saying it gets a lot better and say that I'm wrong because it gets a lot better. Because this is where I'm choosing to stop. So <laughs> this is what I'm judging it off. But overall I would say I enjoyed it. I am very glad the developers came to me and asked me to play it because I feel like it's an experience. Uh, it's, just, it's one of those weird games that you have to experience. And it was entertaining. So yes, would I recommend this game? 50-50, it's really a hit or miss, most likely, so I would recommend that you try it out for yourself and see how you feel about it. Um, 
I will probably not be playing it again just because it's not my style of game. Um, but that doesn't mean it wasn't entertaining. It was fun, it had good qualities to it, the gameplay was nice, the controls weren't hard. It has no really bad points about it, it's just not my style of game. Would I recommend it? Should you buy this game? I would say yes. It's about $7, so it's not too bad, but if you wanted to wait for a sale and you saw it go on sale, I'd take it. It is pretty fun, it is something you have to experience, and it probably has a deep plot later on in the game, but, uh, who knows, so... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you Kamina Dimensions for contacting me with a key for this game. I really appreciate it. I always appreciate when devs appro approach me. It makes me feel very special and I always try to do my best. Uh, I'm sorry I suck at your game. I'm really, really bad at it. I don't know why I'm so bad, but um, nonetheless, it was a fun experience. So guys, check them out in the description below with links to their games and whatnot, and uh, links to their website and the Steam Store page. Please check them out and yeah, this was a one-off. We'll be back with something else next week. So, it is so hot in this room. Oh my god, California. Okay, so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave me a like or a comment down below the video. And if you liked me, then please subscribe today for some more content in the future. Have a fantastic day and night out there, wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh,